Hi, it's Jonathan from Charity Digital. So this is what, day eight of my um, working from home, consecutive days working from home following the uh, COVID-19 lockdown. And uh, like many of you, it's, it's been a bit of a shock to the system, um, but I'm, uh, I'm adjusting steadily. Uh, and I've actually been planning to do some video communications for quite a while, but never really quite got around to it. So I figured that in this what, time of crisis that there was probably no better time to actually um, do it than now. Um, so here I am, but do please bear with me. This is my first totally solo video effort. So I'm filming this entirely on my own through Zoom, really simple tech. Uh, and I guess any of you could do the same as well. I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, share some of the things that we've been doing to, to help all of you deal with what is obviously a really hard time. Um, if you're an organization that is used to doing everything face-to-face -face in a, a kind of a field-based or an office-based environment, then this switch to being locked down must have been really traumatic. And I wanted to say that we're doing everything we can at Charity Digital to, to support you with uh, content, guidance and advice that can actually help you weather this. Uh, and I actually wanted to highlight a few direct steps. So, so step one for me, many of you will have been through this, but maybe some of you haven't quite got to where you want to. It's just the whole work from home. Uh, we've already published a whole bundle of guidance on this sort of uh, work from home tips uh, advice of some of the best tips uh, to, best tech to use um, so guidance about uh, and deals to actually use things like uh, uh, zoom teams and slack all of this is published on the uh, the charity digital website where you can uh, easily access it we've also got our uh, our next podcast coming up uh, which is actually focused uh, on this whole subject of the, the best tech to actually support working from home uh, and that's published next uh, Tuesday 31st of March. We're also touching on that on the important area of security because uh, if we've suddenly got loads of people working from home maybe using from home kit maybe that isn't quite as well secured as what they uh, they use when they're in the office uh, so you might want to actually consider using some simple tech to actually make that more secure for them. So that's the first area. Second area I wanted to touch on, really key to so, so many charities is, is income. I think we all know that um, coronavirus will have interrupted maybe the delivery of some, some contracts. Uh, so that's gonna hit income. And it's definitely hitting fundraising initiatives, public fundraising. So sponsored events have obviously been canceled, be they uh, things like runs, coffee mornings, um, special dinners, whatever. We know they've all been canceled. Uh, so that's a big challenge. We've already published some content on how you go virtual. And I also wanted to uh, highlight for you an event we're supporting, um, which is called Project Everyone, which is a whole load of different organizations. Um, so people like the Institute of Fundraising, uh, Charity Excellence, the Resource Alliance, uh, Salesforce, uh, actually coming together for a, an online conference. This is actually gonna be on Thursday, the 2nd of April. Um, it's totally free of charge and there's sessions on things like how to quickly diversify your income, how to turn a canceled event into an online event. Uh, we're doing fighting crisis with content. So head over to fundraisingeverywhere.com uh, forward slash COVID-19 and register for that free now. Third area I just wanted to quickly talk about was uh, online service delivery. Um, so maybe if you're used to doing things face to face like online counseling that's all had to stop very very suddenly um, and maybe you've started to move into doing that online or maybe you want to move into doing that online I think the point here is that though not the same a whole lot of services can be continued digitally but one of the challenges here as well is that you know in the old world pre-COVID-19, we'd have recommended a bit of test and learn, you know, try it out, see what works, tune it, do it better. You can't do that here, can you? You've had to go live instantly at scale, but I want to really still encourage learn. Okay, so it's now live and learn, uh, but try and find a bit of time to reflect on what's working well and how to improve it. Easier said than done, but I think worth doing to make sure that we're all actually supporting our beneficiaries in the best possible way. As I say, we're producing a whole lot of content to support that. Uh, we're putting it all in uh, in one place under a document called All of Our Relevant Content in One Place. Uh, and if you subscribe to our, our newsletters, you'll get regular mailings about new content too. So do please head over and, uh, and access that. 
I hope to be coming back to you soon with more uh, online video updates. I hope that's maybe a, a quicker and more immediate uh, way to communicate. And do give me your feedback on how it's working as well. So thank you and goodbye.